All right, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Saturday, April 13th, and um, got some work done this week on the A4T. I uh, wired up the work lights back here. They're not mounted yet, but I just got, uh, got them back here. I know they work from the switch. Um, got that done. I refilled the drop box. Um, uh, yesterday, if you can see these uh, hoses on the floor, that would be the fuel lines. So yesterday I went and bought fuel lines. So I redid all of the return lines that are up there. What was up there were these and they were uh, pretty hard and so anyway I re basically replaced all the return fuel lines all the way down to the uh, pump I have a new fuel line rigged here that goes back I ran both of those lines back to the uh, back of the tractor where the fuel tank will be here they come they come through here and then end up back here where the fuel pump is. I haven't hooked anything up yet, but I'm gonna reconfigure how the fuel pump is. So I got that much done um, as far as the fuel goes. And um, I worked on some more of the wiring inside because I want to get, uh, get that more uh, squared away. So uh, when I get the fuel tank back, Phil's supposed to be here in a little bit. And gonna, we're gonna pull off the uh, the fuel pump so he can take it. So I need to get this off the uh, where the throttle comes down. I need to get that loose. So when he gets here, all we have to do is get the uh, crank in the right spot uh, so we can pull off the, uh, get everything clocked right so we can take off the fuel pump. And um, I'm gonna do some other minor things today. I am gonna work on the fuel fil filters. Um, I did, I'll show you in a minute do a little bit of work on that so and lo and behold there is the drop box is leaking but it's more where the shafts come out and there's not much i can do about that right now because that's major surgery and not ready to do that um so yeah i did all that i did put a feeler out this week about rear fenders for this tractor had a couple people respond um unfortunately one guy's like yeah there's an a4t at a salvage yard up just north of you and i was there it had the rear fenders on it he sent me pictures it had the rear fenders it was an open it had the rear fenders the front fenders and had everything for uh open platform uh seat and everything and i'm like oh huh that'd be interesting maybe pull the cab off of this one and make this one an open and i'll keep the other one with the cab on it when i get the motor in it that'd be real cool so I called up there and they said, well, it's way in the back. We need to go back and check it. In the meantime, I found a video on YouTube that was posted a year ago. So I texted my buddy and I said, so when did you take those pictures? He said, three years ago. So I find this video and I fast forward through this whole video until I catch a glimpse of red and I slow it down and back it up. And uh, there it is, completely stripped of the fenders and uh, everything. Everything that I wanted off of it, it's gone. So. Anyway, I found another set in Indiana. They're yellow, um, so I'm gonna have to get those at some point, possibly not until the Greenville show here in uh, July, because I got a lot of other going on. But anyway, I decided when I start work, when I finish this one and start working on the other one, I'm going to just pull the fenders off the other one and put them on here, because I'm gonna use this tractor throughout the summer. So part of the wiring I'm doing is wiring it down so that when I get the fenders on, I can put warning the warning lights i can get those working and uh have those going and then when i get those other fenders i'll sandblast those and repaint those for the other one and um also the, then i was kind of looking at the the grill on this one is this is the one it's obviously it's broken right there so i thought oh cool I, i've got some extra oliver grills around here well here is uh an oliver grill and it's shorter and it's different than the grill that was on this. So this would work on a 1355 or a 955 or the later mile flat model, flat nose A4T. I have another one here. It's got a little crack I gotta fix. This one needs a little bit more extensive work done on it, but I think I could repair it up too. 
So anyway, it's not going to work uh, to make one of these work on this, and I don't have the bright pieces. I don't know how to even make that one look good. So one of the things I'm going to do today is I have the grill screen that they actually put in some of these, and I'm going to have a new one that needs painted, and I have the one that's in the 950 that needs touched up. So I'm going to paint both of those, and then you know I'll use those on one back on the 950 and one on here. And then the other thing that I'm going to work on today is um, out here. I left this outside last night. It's windy today. It's sunny, but it's windy and everything's really wet. But I pulled apart the uh, fuel filter. And yeah, I probably should have changed these before I ran it because there's a lot of sludge uh, in there. There's the bowl and it's dry now, but it's... Uh, a lot of rust and crap in there um, so anyway I'm gonna go through I'm gonna completely clean uh, this out kind of see up in there there's all kinds of grime uh, in the center hole there I'm gonna get it nice and clean and then I'm going to I got new filters new o-rings everything uh, seals gaskets you name it I'm gonna put that back together and uh, have that ready might get it mounted back on the tractor um, so that when we get the fuel tank and the injection pump done you know just again little by little getting everything done that needs to be done on this so that's where I'm at I just wanted to catch you up on what I did this week and I'm hoping Oliver Phil will be over here in a little bit and we'll get that injection pump because once he has the injection pump he can get it tore down cleaned up resealed back you know put it back together reseal it and it should be good to go. And um, hopefully the fuel tank's gonna be gun, done this weekend or early next week. Phil's also doing the um, uh, alternator. And then also we'll do the battery cables. But then then this thing's pretty well, I'm, I'm about where I need to be to get this thing running again. So, all right, I'm gonna, got a few things I just need to run around here and do and then we'll Hopefully Phil will be over and I'll show you how we take the uh, injection pump off. All right, so I went over and got the uh, grill screen off the 950, sandblasted it, and that's the new uh, grill screen I got from Stoms uh, at the Napanee show last year, because I knew I was gonna be needing it. So what I've done is I've just painted white on uh, the raised areas, the three raised areas. That's the way it is. I'm gonna let that dry when that's good and dry. I'll tape it off and then I'll paint the whole rest of the thing black. And then we should have what it should appear then to be the way that it would have been new. So did a little test paint up there. I'm just rattle canning this stuff, but uh, I'm gonna let it sit until that stuff is good enough to tape and not doll up like it did on the nose piece because of the black. I put on uh, the tape before I had time to cure, but today I got a lot of wind and sun, so this should cure a little bit faster. That's what paint needs is some heat and uh, air moving across it to help it uh, cure. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start messing with cleaning up the, uh, the fuel filter. All right, so I cleaned everything up, <clears throat> even these um, bolts that go up through the middle or the piece that goes up through the middle um, was pretty rusty so I uh, cleaned those up cleaned out the bowls that's the aluminum bowl so you can't really tell but the glass one you can tell really cleaned it up cleaned up the whole top end blue uh, carb cleaner through that I've just put new o-rings on the plastic bleed tips I already did it on these uh, new o-ring uh, here on both sides, new o-rings here, new o-rings around there, and then I need to do, I just realized, um, I need to do new o-rings down there at the bottom of this, which I'm going to have to pull out of my o-ring kit because the kit that came with these with o-rings didn't have those, but Luckily, I have my O-ring kit. So I'm going to put those on, then I can put everything back together. Phil's on his way here shortly. 
we'll pull off that injection pump. You rebuilt the alternator. And um, so we're, we're making some progress here. I'll show you what this looks like after it's just putting a couple more O-rings on and then uh, screwing everything back together. All right, got it back together. Everything's good. The only thing I don't have in is those top two uh, bleed screws. They're here. They had these uh, washers in them, but they're kind of dry rotted. So I put O-rings in. They're kind of small. And Oliver Phil gets here, I'm going to ask him if he thinks that'll be all right. I think it will be. But anyway, um, I don't know why one bowl is glass and the other one's metal, but that's just what I got. So uh, I got that done. And like I said, Phil should be here shortly and we'll work on getting the, uh, the uh, injection pump off. All right, Phil uh, made it over here. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the, uh, the engine over till the deliver fuel delivery is here at number one because I checked that before I took all the lines off. That line goes up to cylinder number one. Uh, there's also timing marks in that little hole, but we're going to, uh, I'm going to get underneath to spin it and he's going to watch for it to come around and then we will pull it the rest of the way off. Uh, on the far side there, there's red handled ones sticking up. Get you guys set up here and then we'll do this. All right, I'm gonna go underneath. Oh, it's gonna take a bigger one. I can do it with the ratchet. I was wrong. This is hard to get the, there we go. All right. I can go out and get a ratcheting going. Now I got this belt on the power steering pump. It's Makes it a little more difficult to spin it. It's a big motor. Engine. Okay, here we go. Hold it. Okay. All right, keep going. Come on, get on there. All right, so we got it. So there's a timing mark coming up there and then uh, you can see Good. the tiny little fuel delivery holes in there so we know we're, we're lined up on one so we're going to go ahead and pull it off there's two bolts on there Phil also brought me back the uh, alternator. It's been 
he had to basically rebuild it. Uh, he said, what, bearings, rectifier? Um, yeah, all new bearings, front housing, um, rectifier, uh, diode trio, brush holder, and regulator. So sitting outside for the last uh, 15 years or whatever, didn't do it any favors, obviously. No, it didn't. I'm really glad I left that hydraulic line loose so it wasn't right there in the way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty thankful for that too. But with any luck, I'm gonna drop everything possible. Which I already dropped a nut. Story of my life. All right, and there is your Butterfly seals, or not butterfly, I'm sorry, umbrella. Evidently, wasn't thinking. Umbrella seals. Those are if you get fuel going into your engine oil and it's not the lift pump, this is usually the culprit, is these umbrella seals. One keeps the fuel into the pump, one keeps the oil out of the injection pump. Just a double seal, kind of. And here it is. Yep. Last time it'll look like this. Get her going. All right. And here is uh, Phil's truck. If you saw when we painted the uh, the new bed, we just did the toolboxes last week. He's still working on wiring up his uh, marker lights along there. He's still outfitting it, but you can see the doors. They work out uh, real well and they're tall enough that you can walk underneath them. He's got his Montezuma box on the back, but on the way over here, some of that stuff got uh, messed up. He's got his air compressor back uh, back there. He's going to service some, some trucks over at Dollar Tree. Um, some of the yard dog trucks. Yeah, he's got his welder up top there, his torches, his uh, air reel, his big vise back here. He kind of made these custom so that you can fit the torches in back there. And then he's got the other boxes and another box underneath there on this side. So all in all, it's worked out pretty well. And he planned, and I think I pointed this out when we were, uh, painting the bed he made this little bump out back here so that he can stand here kind of like a workbench and uh and do stuff so still working on getting all of his lighting done underneath and i think he's decided he needs to put a little ladder on this some steps because getting up and down off of this thing is not uh not going to be easy but all in all you got to be happy with how it turned out so I think that'll do what he needs it to do when he's out working. So, all right, we'll let him get out of here. He's got real work to do. All right, and like I said, he uh, rebuilt the alternator. He just showed me the parts he took off. The housing up here, the bearing was basically spinning in the housing and it was really loud and showed me all the other parts and they were all junk. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it back on, get this back on and probably call it a day hopefully he gets me the pump back here soon and um uh, the fuel tank like i said hopefully we'll be done and maybe maybe next weekend we'll work on getting this thing started fingers crossed all right before i wrap up for the day i got the fuel filter back on uh, it's just two bolts up at the top and uh should be ready to go. I put my new uh, fuel line, got it attached to it, so that should be good. And then uh, around the other side here, I got the alternator back on. So it's a little bit of a pain getting those two belts on because they're it's tight, but um, 
sure they'll stretch just a little uh, with the time. But the rebuild alternator is now on. Everything's tightened down. So we're making progress. Definitely, if we get that injection pump back, we're going to really, uh, we're going to be really doing something. All right, so I'm going to go in the house and see what, uh, how Mrs. Ohio MM is and uh, get back out here tomorrow afternoon to hopefully finish painting those uh, grill screens. All right, it's Sunday and uh, it's a nice day out. It's uh, in the 70s. So I brought in where I painted uh, just the raised part. I'm taping that off right now on both sides and then I will paint everything black. So got that done. I'm going to go do the other one and then we'll get everything painted black. And then when I peel the paint off, I should have these three raised areas being all white, which it would have been from the uh, factory and everything else will be black. So we'll see how these turn out. Hopefully my tape job works the way that I have envisioned in my brain. Well, it's windy. Uh, while these were drying, they actually blew off of the uh, where I had them hanging, and luckily didn't hurt, screw up the paint. But secured them a little better. I let them dry long enough that I could peel the tape off. Now I've got them laying out here in the direct sun. With uh, there's a really strong breeze, so that should cure the paint up tonight. I'll put them inside, but I don't think they turned out too bad. I think they actually look fairly good front of a tractor they'll look look real nice so pretty happy with that and uh excited for next weekend hopefully next weekend i will have some more stuff back and we can work on getting this tractor a little bit closer to done so then i can move on to the next project it feels like i've been making a lot of videos just on this one and it's true because it's a big project and I think I've, if you've been watching you know I've had a lot going on with this one but anyway I think that'll be it for this video this weekend I just cut grass and uh, it's still wet and I'm still rutting up the yard and I'm gonna hate it in July when I'm doing my cross pattern and I'm bouncing all over the place because the happening to mow now but I had to mow now is bogging the mower down there's so much grass but anyway Appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe. We're going to have more videos. We're going to get this thing running here soon, and I'm excited for that. Then I can determine what I'm going to do from there on projects and uh, have some fun with this. Hopefully get it out and work some uh, ground this spring. Uh, i got a couple people that offered to let me bring it over and do some work. So we'll be doing that. But uh, until the next video, uh, just keep thinking MMs.